Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. I have just recently gotten into Nevada Bar, and this one is called High Country. This is actually my first book by her that I've actually read. And Nevada's character, <clears throat> Anna, is absolutely sensational. She is a woman who can take care of herself when the situation <clears throat> allows for it to. And, and she finds herself in quite a bit of peril in this particular um, <clears throat> Anna Pigeon mystery. And this one is absolutely unbelievably good. And the way that she describes Yosemite and where um, Anna works just slinging hash. She actually gets a very plum job in doing so, but it's <laughs> a bit below her, her pay grade and her intellect because we figure out that, spoiler alert, she's actually a secret National Park Ranger. She, um, she solves crimes, and she just has this mind, this unbelievable intellect for <clears throat> getting to the bottom of an actual... Um, conundrum and it's really quite scintillating to see just how she interrogates people and how she's able to keep all of her emotions in check and she's actually a very emotional being she doesn't admit to crying very much though she does when she's alone at certain times but she comes across as an extremely resolute and um, dynamic, a very um, <clears throat> a very confident and um, uh, innovative sort of young woman, and she is a survivalist most <laughs> definitely especially in this one. And the whole story is, is surrounding this whole um, drug problem that the area has been having for quite some time. And she goes into the history as to why that is. And I'm thinking it's true. I don't know if it is for actual fact, but she speaks of how the drug culture was actually brought in to the whole park area. And I thought, this just is so sad. And she talks about just the cruelty of man and um, <clears throat> how corrupt some men can be. And uh, her love, she has uh, a love for somebody, I'm not going to say who, but it's oh, the, the reward, the, the payoff at the end. You think, oh yes, thank God. And <laughs> what I like about her is... Um, even though she's ladylike, she's not above swearing, and I love that. <laughs> and it just because it's the nature of the beast and where she is, it is it's very Western and, and just how gritty it is. And I thought, wow, yeah, this this lady, she's even though she's got her femininity, she's tough as nails, and it's just it's amazing. And um, <clears throat> I just I really think that she's everything Nancy Drew would aspire to be. Nancy Drew has nothing on. Anna Pigeon. Um, I just, I love her, her ability to describe a scenario into such a vivid detail and um, just the park itself and different locales and in, in which the mystery goes down and finding out that there's somebody in her diner that's trying to scare her in, in the midst of trying to figure out why this, um, <clears throat> drug problem is going on in her her own vicinity and she's trying to do it just on the low key not getting spotted by anybody <laughs> and doing quite a good job of it but she's being followed she's being tailed and she starts to feel like her life is and her life is actually threatened <laughs> quite literally and it's just wow i mean it, it took my breath away it was just utterly uh, titillating and just absolutely exceptionally written. And I'm glad I got into Nevada Bar. I actually was able to find the library that's not too far away from where I live. And it's 
got two stories and it's beautiful and they've got all sorts of stuff that's going on. They were having a book sale. Of course, I didn't buy anything because I got to watch my pennies. But they had uh, <laughs> they had some things I wanted. They had a couple. They had a Kenny G I wanted. They had some Celine Dion's I wanted. They had a, a jazz CD that I really wanted. And um, I think they had uh, Lionel Richie. Yeah, they had a holiday Lionel Richie that I thought, oh my God, are you serious? Lionel Richie holiday? I want that. But I thought, eh, no, I can't. So I had to put that on the side. And I thought, eh, it's probably not going to be there when I go back. But I just finished High Country. And it was uh, very short, very woefully short. And it ends on a happy high note. And I'm going to actually read the, the final leaflet. I like the fact that there is a... A map of <laughs> Yosemite and this I thought I have to go to Yosemite now <laughs> even more so than I have ever wanted to go to go before it's on my bucket list as I think it's just one of the natural attractions and um, wonders of the United States <clears throat> and a lot of people would agree with me who absolutely adore nature and its glory it says this about Miss Barr uh, Nevada she's an award-winning author rightly so, of 11 previous Anna Pigeon mysteries. Good gosh. Including the New York Times bestseller, Flashback and Hunting Season, as well as Seeking Enlightenment, Hat by Hat, which is a work of nonfiction. She lives in Mississippi, where she was most recently a ranger on the Natchez Trace. That's so cool. I mean, that's pretty badass. Um, she knows what she's talking about then, and um, making Anna a uh, park ranger kind of <laughs> secretly um that's pretty much all i have to say about high country i am i forget what the other ones were that i i borrowed from the library uh let's see uh one i have is called burn i know i i know i have burn um I don't recall. She's got so many. <laughs> it's innate. It's insane. Of course, uh, Track of the Cat was one I heard of, but I'm looking. F I'm definitely looking forward to reading the other ones. Since they're all very short, and me having uh, the vivid imagination that I do, I can actually see um, Anna going through these trials and tribulations, and yet having this resolute. Um, razor sharp diamond edge to keep continuing along the path quite literally in this one and not letting it deter her even though she's going through excruciating amounts of pain with a splint that she made by hand spoiler sorry um but i thought dang you are just you're my heroine you're you're just incredible but uh, i mean i don't know how to do that i know how to do some survivalist stuff which, you know, would probably help me. It makes me kind of feel like Bear Grylls or um, <laughs> Coyote Peterson or um, I forget the guy who is uh, one of my favorite, um, Les, yeah. I, f I forget Les's last name though, but but Les in, um, <clears throat> I forget what the name, Survivor, Survivor Man. Yeah, Les Stroud, sorry, his name's Les Stroud. I am Les Stroud. Don't try this at home. Les Stroud is a professional. <laughs> Surviving off of nature's bounty. If he can find anything. <laughs> but he, the, the funny thing about Survivor Man is uh, if he's ever in any kind of real danger, they, they get him out <laughs> before. But, yeah. I, the same thing with Coyote. If, if, if Coyote ever finds himself in a real trouble, and I'm hoping he never does, but... They get him eh, epi, epinephrine pen. Well, he have, has, has an epinephrine pen always on hand. But just the way that she describes her, the, the medical detail, you think, holy cow. Yeah, this, this is all very factual stuff. And you can tell that she's based her, uh, her writing on just uh, pure observation and fact. And I love it. I'm, I'm absolutely, I'm so happy that I found Nevada. So, until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao, Tootie.